yeah, you know, I thought the first half was really good for all of us. Um, I think we came out, you know, we were sloppy as a group throughout the whole second half. Couldn't really get anything going, you know, shot ourselves in the foot a few times, you know, made a few mistakes. Um, starting with myself, got to play better in that second half. But, um, you know, we fought, we battled, and, uh, you know, we'll learn and get better from it. Did you feel that Tampa adjusted in some way in the second half that created some issues, or was it just kind of, you mm-hmm. know, sloppy play? Was it just kind of execution? Yeah, you know, they played more man, man defense, heated us up a little more, you know, had wider ends because we ran a lot of keepers, a lot of boot outs. So, um, you know, they definitely had a, you know, good plan that second half. But again, you know, it came down to execution, what we could have done better, what I could have done better, and what we could have done better as an offense. You know, we had the defense on the field a lot, uh, put them in a tough spot. So, you know, we just got to convert and, and play better. Did you feel enough good in your personal performance to give you some, you know, optimism going forward that you can fix the other stuff? You know, uh, I don't want to talk about myself. You know what I mean? I, I, I was... As a group, I was happy with what we did that first half, you know, scoring 27 in the first half. Obviously, defense put us in great positions, could have scored more as well, you know, settled for a few field goals. But, you know, um, something that I didn't do was toward the end of the game, I, I, I didn't want to have a turnover this game. We ended up having to. So I got to be better um, in that area. Um, but, you know, I'm going to watch the tape tomorrow as a, as a group, as a position group, and, and get better from it. Um, yeah, it was man coverage. Um, actually alerted to it. Had Shahid just underthrew it a little bit. Twenty-seven made a good play. Spencer, how about your touchdown pass? I thought it was mm-hmm. like you could really connect. Yeah, no, I, I was definitely happy with you know how, how Bub was playing. You know, was kind of quiet throughout the year so far. Throughout these first four or five games, and you know he's been grinding in practice. And we've been talking about when your time comes, make those plays. And you know, I was happy for him. I think he was one of our you know, leading receivers, and he made some big-time plays, um, you know. So, you know, we all just got to play better as a group. How difficult was it to leave Olave so It's tough, you know, but um, he'll tell you himself, you know, next man up mentality. You know, it's unfortunate to see your top guy go down, you know, really early in the game. Um, so, you know, I hope it's a speedy recovery. I hope he's back fully healthy. But, you know, it's tough because we wanted to really get him involved this game. Yeah, you know, they, I caused a few of those sacks, you know what I mean? Um, O-line, I thought, fought their butts off all day, you know, played really well. Um, thought we did some good stuff to help them up front, but, um, you know, just continuing to, to work that pocket, get the ball out, and, uh, you know, got to give credit to that defense. They played well in that second half. You talked about the kind of the boots and some of the roll. I mean, was that part of the plan? Did you feel comfortable in that type of approach? Yeah, I mean, um, it worked really well in that first half, you know, we were pinning those edges and, and really getting them on those fakes, you know, and that gives you a lot of space, takes some pressure off your O line definitely early in the game, and stuff was coming open. You know, I thought the tight ends did an amazing job of feeling that space in that zone that they were playing in that first half and, and, and making plays off it in that keeper game. So, um, you know, we just married that up with the run game, get that going, and, um, you know, we'll be better. Got to get, get back to the drawing board and get to work. Yeah, felt very calm. Felt, you know, it was fun. It was fun to be out there. Um, felt really good. And, uh, you know, definitely have a lot of stuff to clean up. First start, you know, I'm going to be better. Spencer, when you went to Oklahoma, did you ever get the mini tape of mini clips? Yep. Yeah, I was telling the story, you know, um, when I was getting recruited there, I remember sitting in the coach's office talking with Baker. So it was cool to see him after the game. You know, showed a lot of love. I respect, respect him, all the adversity he went through. You know, thought he fought today, you know, till the end. And, you know, did, did what he had to do to win. What did he say to you afterwards? Yeah, I'll keep it between us. Is this, I mean, you hear a lot about, you know, the speed of the games. I mean, did it feel fast to you out there? Did it not feel what you thought? I mean, no, I mean, football is football at the end of the day. You know, obviously these guys are – every week you're going to play the best guys in the world. You know, um, we got to execute. We, we can't shoot ourselves in the foot. I got to be better. We got to be better. You know, it's not it's not a good vibe. You know, you're not happy when you win. Um, you know, but can't hang our heads. We just got to keep chopping. You know what I mean? We got to keep chopping. Uh, you can't quit. So uh, that's one thing we won't do. You saw a couple of plays that safety would find up as soon as you rolled out during the bootleg. Is that something that y'all saw on tape during the week? 
Um, I mean, you know, they were just reacting how they reacted. Um, we just read our play, read our reads, and there was there was a lot of good stuff in, in the boot game for sure. What was um, Derek Carr like for you today? Amazing, you know, just really talking to me throughout the game, being positive, you know, just saying, hey, go out there and rip it. You know what I mean? He was, you guys know how he is, very positive, and, um, you know, it was good to have him down there just to talk with throughout the game. Him and Jake both. Can we ask a little bit about Jake? Because I saw you were kind of right in between those two guys. Mm-hmm. What kind of a role did Jake play for you today? Yeah, you know, he's very um, involved and always stays, you know, paying attention throughout the game, and you got to respect that. Um, you know, very smart guy, and he's just, hey, you know, we, we didn't talk too much throughout the game. I was talking to Derek most of the time, Coach Janoko, but Jake always has great input, very smart player. Uh, I know one of the big connections thing you and Juwan ended up getting a race because of the penalty, but he seems like somebody you were very comfortable going to throughout the game. What is it about him that, that gave you that confidence? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, that was a great route he ran. You know, it was man coverage. He slipped that linebacker. That was a huge play for us, you know, and, you know, we shot ourselves in the foot on that one. Uh, I think it was a legal formation. So, you know, we all got to be on the same page, um, but – you know, he's a good, him and Foster both, good security blankets to have out there. You know, two, two good weapons that can make plays on all levels of the field. Just out of curiosity, did you get to keep the, the first touchdown ball that they gave him in the um, It was in my locker, so I didn't make that decision. <laughs> but I'm sure, I'm sure Bub will have one too. I, I think I read where your first game in high school was, didn't go the best from the start. Is that yeah, it probably went worse than this, for sure. Yeah. Um, but, you know. Yeah, I mean, I think you see a lot of guys in their first start. You know, I'm, I'm not going to hang my head. I'm proud of, of, of what I did, what we did as a group battling-wise. We just got to clean up. That's all it is. We got to clean up, go through our reads, um, and just keep chopping. Keep chopping wood. You can't, you can't hang your head after a tough loss like that. You know, we all got to be better. Starts with myself. Yeah, I mean, you just got to have feel. You know, I think one thing that was positive is we didn't, you know, other than the second play of the game, when I tried to throw a bubble too quick and dropped it, we didn't have any fumbles in the pocket. You know, that was a goal, two hands on the ball at all times. Thought we escaped the pocket, you know, well at times, and sometimes, you know, they get to you. You know, you always want to keep your eyes down that field and try to find your guys, but, um, you know, sometimes that's just how the ball rolls. Did you feel the crowd's emotion when you got your release? Um... Yeah, I mean, it was cool. You know, I, I, I've uh, been a part of that a few times here, getting to watch that, watch the guys run out. It's, it's an awesome feeling. What's the, I guess, the, you took a lot of blame for things today. What's the <coughs> biggest area, just without watching film, that you want to improve on from today to, to Thursday? Uh, just protect the ball. Don't underthrow it to let the guy make a play on it and then see the, see the dropper on, a, on an out route. Those two mistakes, you know, that's, that's what I want to get better at. Thank you, guys. Thank you.